He transformed the fortunes of a handful of franchises and established a reputation as one of baseball's brightest minds. But among his peers, Roland Heeman was perhaps best known for the way in which he got to know them. Born October 26, 1929 in Central Falls, Rhode Island, Roland Heeman grew up a Red Sox fan and got his first job in baseball as a minor league stadium attendant in Hartford, Connecticut. He caught his big break as a scout with the Milwaukee Braves during their rise to prominence in the 1950s and was eventually hired as scouting director for the expansion Los Angeles Angels in 1961. Heeman received his first shot as general manager with the Chicago White Sox in 1970 and built a reputation among rival GMs as a man always looking to make a trade. Heeman's tenacity in the front office is often credited with saving baseball on the south side, as the White Sox dodged financial hardship and whispers of relocation to become American League contenders. In 1983, Chicago won the American League West and hosted its first playoff game in 34 years. Heeman's magic touch continued in his next post as Baltimore's GM, where he inherited the last place Orioles and built a team that would reach the 1996 ALCS. His next stop was in Phoenix, where he guided an expansion Arizona Diamondbacks franchise to a World Series title just four years after its first Major League game. Then Heeman returned to Chicago, advising the White Sox as they captured the 2005 Fall Classic their first title in 88 years. Heeman finished his career in an advisory role with the Diamondbacks and continued to do what he was revered for, build relationships and foster talent. His most accomplished protégés include Hall of Fame manager Tony La Russa and pennant-winning executives Dave Dombrowski and Walt Jockety. But nearly everyone in baseball was touched in some way by his wisdom and his generosity. In 2011, Roland Heeman received the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum's Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award for his impact on the game.